For today's video, I want to look at some pieces of vintage Fiesta made by the Homer Lachlan China Company of New West Virginia. Today, it's now known as the Fiesta Tableware Company. So there are several dates in Fiesta's history that collectors know about, like 1936 is when it was introduced, 1973 is when it was discontinued, 1943 is when Fiesta Red comes along, 1959 is when it's reintroduced along with Medium Green. But 1946, I think, is probably one of the more significant years in Fiesta's run because it gets cut back rather drastically. So we're going to look at some pieces, but before that, I want to focus on this document. This is a copy of a company memo. It is dated February 15th, 1946, and it says list of discontinued items. And Fiesta's on here, but I want to go through this rather quickly and then we'll look at Fiesta. Because it's pretty significant in its own right, because I can't think of another time where this many products were discontinued at once. Uh, maybe 1930, where we see Hudson and toilet ware and white granite staples cut back and cableware cut back. There was quite a bit going on at that time, but this has quite a few different shapes on it. So we'll start at the top, Ovide Cup and Saucer. Uh, that was a pickup piece, a generic shape that was picked up for different lines. Several pieces of Empress. So the Empress line is being cut back here. We have the Coffee Cup and Saucer, the AD Cup and Saucer, some fruits and coops and deep plates and nappies and bakers, the covered dish, three sizes of jugs, the Empress teapot, and the gravy fast stand. Now, the Empress shape was still being made, um, but it was cut back rather drastically. We're going to see that with several shapes on this list. Like the Empress Sugar and Creamer were still being made. The flatware was used from Quaker. Uh, going on, we see a couple pieces of Quaker. The covered dish, which is basically an oval covered casserole. The covered teapot and the gravy fast stand. Quaker itself was uh, made into the 1950s, particularly with the rose and poppy pattern uh, for uh, Colgate. Then we see Republic, just like Empress, it's cut back rather drastically. Um, all different types of uh, pieces, the coffee cup and saucer, AD cup and saucer, some nappies, some bakers, some platters, jugs, the gravy fast stand, the covered teapot. Uh, it's interesting, Republic makes a comeback in 1948, so some of these pieces actually return, especially the teapot. We see Republic being used for uh, the Priscilla pattern and many others into the 1950s. Virginia Rose is cut back a little bit. We see the cream soup cup and liner, um, the large size fruit, the small size baker, the cake plate and the bread plate. Those two are handled pieces, rather difficult to find. Century is cut back. Coffee cup and saucer, which a century cuppy, excuse me, a century coffee cup and saucer are rather difficult to find to begin with. And then the 80 cup and saucer, some nappies, special baker, the bakers, the special dish, which is a platter. The Century Jug Body 36s, that's the uh, milk pitcher, covered teapot, uh, gravy fast stand, cream soup cup and liner, and the cake plate. So Century is not altogether discontinued, though it wouldn't last much longer beyond 1946. So it's still, be, it's still around, it's just cut back. The same is true with Riviera, it's still being produced. Kitchen Craft, we lose a couple pieces. The covered jars, those are your round uh, covered jars. The individual covered casserole, that's the smallest size. The salad nappy, which is a special piece that was made um, for Priscilla uh, dinnerware and ovenware. And the uh, Kitchen Craft Old Ivory Platter. Some odd pieces like the Hallboy jugs, some cable oysters. Um, we see the Willow onion soup. They now want to use the Empress oatmeal. The WW egg cup, that's your uh, whiteware egg cups. Those are the little poached egg cups. Brittany 80 cups and saucers and the Brittany chop plate. Uh, the 80 cups and saucers from Brittany, those actually make a comeback uh, with rhythm dinnerware as pickup pieces. So you can find those in the rhythm solid color glazes. Then we see Georgian ivory, the entire line. So that's not Georgian eggshell, but that's its predecessor, the Georgian ivory body or craftsman dinnerware. Wells ivory and Wells vellum, the entire line for both of those glazes. Uh, it's interesting, uh, Montgomery Wards had a line of Wells. It was Wells Ivory with a gold band on it or a gold stripe. And after th this line was discontinued, they start using it, uh, the same pattern on Virginia Rose for a short time. 
Yellowstone vellum and Yellowstone ivory, both are discontinued. Uh, those lines started in 1926, so here they're discontinued in 1946. So they had a 20-year run. Orleans LYG, light yellow glaze. The entire line is discontinued. A couple pieces from the eggshell lines are discontinued. Uh, the salad nappies from Georgian eggshell and Nollis eggshell as the large baker from Nollis eggshell and Georgian eggshell. If I haven't mentioned already, these are trade sizes, so that 8 inch is actually closer to 10 inch. We see some swing eggshell being discontinued, so it's cut back, but not yet altogether discontinued. It's another line that won't last much longer beyond 1946. The muffin cover, covered sauce boat or sauce dish, all pink handles, all blue handles, all green handles. So those are your colored handles and finials. They replace all of them with just white wear. Then it says plain plate, 9 inches. That's probably the service plate, I would imagine. Given a 9-inch trade size, it'd be close to 11 inches. Then we see Fiesta. It starts with Fiesta Kitchen Craft, the entire line. So there's your covered jars, your covered casserole, your refrigerator stack set, the utensils, the Kitchen Craft salt and pepper. Fiesta bowls all sizes. Those are the nested bowls, 1 through 7. Fiesta Comport, 12 inches. The Fiesta Covered Carafe, the Fiesta Covered Marmalade, the Fiesta Covered Mustard, the Fiesta Relish Tray, the Fiesta Fruit Bowl, 836, which is a shape number, that's more than likely the 11-inch Fruit Bowl, the Fiesta Bulb Type Candle Holders, the Fiesta Large Covered Teapot, the Fiesta Footed Salad Bowl, and then the Fiesta Flower Vase, which has to be the 8-inch version since the 12 and the 10-inch version were already discontinued by this time. Then it has two notes to use the Brittany plates uh, instead of Wells for blue and pink willow, and this is because Wells was discontinued, so they want to use Brittany. And the same for the dishes, which are the platters. Uh, use Brittany in blue and pink willow. So again, February 15th, 1946, we see all these cuts, particularly with Fiesta. Now if we come over here, this is an undated uh, order form. It's a copy of Fiesta. And it has all the pieces minus what was discontinued from this memo. And we see some pieces that are still lingering about. In fact, I highlight, put little highlighter marks on them. So there's the nine and a half inch nappy, it's still around. Uh, the ice pitcher is still around. The utility tray is still around. The 10 ounce tumbler, the bud vase. So these are pieces that we know were discontinued in 46, but not quite yet uh, in February according to this memo. They're still here. Um, again, this is undated. But once we get to a dated price list, which is November 1st, 1946, those items are no longer here. So that's the water tumbler, the sweets comport, uh, the utility tray, the ice pitcher, the nine and a half inch nappy, and the bud vase. So now I want to look at a couple price lists. This is from 1941, and this is pretty much the height of Fiesta, or a roundabout, where we see this very extensive assortment. This price list is dated November 1st, 1946, and it shows on the back just how much the line was cut back. So you see this very extensive assortment, and then you see this abbreviated assortment. Now, when you're looking at these price lists from the 30s and the 40s, they generally did not change the interior graphics that much. So even though a lot of pieces were discontinued, they're still showing them on the inside. So we'll put this aside for a moment because I want to show the difference. If we look at one from October 1st, 1951, we have its assortment on the back. It's identical to the assortment from November 1st, 1946. So we can look at its graphic, which has changed. And here you can see the difference in the line. Again, this is 1941, and now this is representing 1946. So you see just how much it was cut back after the 10-year introduction from 1936. And just to show how it ended, this is uh, January 1st, 1968. This is right before it was restyled into Fiesta Ironstone, and we see how it was cut back even further 
So this, again, this is about 46, and this is the end of the run, where it's just a basic uh, line of dinnerware. So from these memos and price lists, we can put together a little listing of discontinued items. So we have Fiesta items discontinued in 1946, and here's our list from that memo. February 15, 1946, Fiesta Kitchen Craft, the juice pitcher and tumblers, the French casserole, the salad bowl, and the sugar creamer tray set. Let's go back to that list for a moment, because I think I might have skimmed over that portion. Fiesta special items all. That, those are the promotional items. Because we don't see those on the price list. But again, the special items would be the juice pitcher and tumblers, the casserole, the French casserole, the unlisted salad bowl, and the sugar creamer tray set. Then we have the nested bowls, one through seven, the 12 inch comport, the craft marmalade mustard relish tray, 11 inch fruit bowl, bulb candlesticks, large teapot, footed salad bowl, and eight inch vase. Then by October 31st, 1946, the water tumbler, the sweets comport, or compote as it's sometimes called, utility tray, ice pitcher, nine and a half inch nappy, and bud vase. And just to make a little note about other discontinued items previously in the 1940s, uh, tripod candlesticks, demi tasse coffee pot, tw 10 inch vase and 12 inch vase. And then previously in the 1930s, the nested bowl lids, which was one through four, the covered onion soup, the stick handle creamer, which really was restyled, and the 12 inch compartment plate, which really was resized in the 10 and a half inch version. So now we'll look at some examples of pieces that were discontinued in 1946. The large teapot. So you'll find this in the first six glazes, which is red, old ivory, yellow, light green, blue, and turquoise. The medium teapot can be found in all 11 colors, plus amber stone and gold from casual stone and iron stone. This is the medium teapot. It has a C handle as opposed to the ring handle. The finials are also different. Utility tray. This is the ram press version, which has a marking and a wet foot. If you have a dry foot and one that's not marked, it's probably a cast version. So there are two different styles of the utility tray. Either way, this was discontinued in 46. Bud vase. The eight inch vase. The carafe. This one's in turquoise that's cork seal. Bulb type candle holders. These are rather easy to find. Again, only first six glazes. The ice pitcher. It does not take a lid. Some people think it does take a lid the way it's designed, but that's to catch the ice. These aren't terribly hard to find either, the ice pitchers. Tumblers, these are my favorite pieces in Fiesta, the tumblers. Sweets compote. Not hard to find really, but very desirable. They usually go for about $100 or more. Couple utensils from Kitchen Craft, blue spoon or cobalt. Some collectors call it cobalt, though it was never really called cobalt. Uh, it was just called blue. White green fork. The mustard and the marmalade. Mustards aren't marked, but marmalades are. I take that back. Sometimes you might find an HLC USA stamp on a mustard that's for export to Canada. Part of the promotional items that were discontinued uh, in 1946, the sugar creamer tray set. Now 
Those are actually still made in the contemporary line. Juice pitcher and juice tumblers. Now, even though this was discontinued in 46 with Fiesta, it does come back in Jubilee in the pastel glazes. Uh, and then again with rhythm and the rhythm colors. So the rhythm sets are very difficult to find. The gray pitchers, um, the dark green tumbler, let's see, the chartreuse tumbler, and the harlequin yellow tumbler. I had to think there for a second. I could, you seldom see the rhythm sets. But the Fiesta sets are very common. 12 inch comp port. You know, in the last video, I talked a little bit about saggers and sagger pins. So we flip this over. First of all, there's the back stamp. Um, we see the little sagger pin marks. So this was fired in a sagger. Two of the nested bowls, there were seven sizes. This is number four and number three. And a nine and a half inch nappy, which is similar in style to the eight and a half inch nappy. This is very common. You can find this in all 11 colors, but the larger ones only in the first six. Um, the eight and a half inch will actually fit inside nicely. And there are others like the footed salad bowl, the 11 inch fruit bowl, the uh, relish tray. But again, 1946, um, I think that's a pretty significant year in Fiesta's history.